Welcome to my channel Win Chem. Today we are going to uh, see a sin and anti addition reactions. Okay, it's very important. Just make a note of it. This is the cycloalkane. In this compound, in which way the sin and anti addition will take place? In what are all the reagent we are using for that? What is happening? Whether this is and whether it is undergoing a sin addition or anti addition. Okay. The first one hydrogenation reaction okay the hydrogen and platinum in presence of nickel or a palladium platinum or nickel or palladium in this any one okay sin addition is takes place okay see here both are adding in the same way that is a sin addition hydrogenation and then next one is marconic of addition marconic of addition and anti marconic of addition we should know very clearly okay marconic of means wherever the hydrogen is more there you have to add, attach the hydrogen in the easiest way you can remember in this way okay so here hydrogen is there you have to add the hydrogen over here and the halogen over here this is the marconic of re reaction okay this is also here anti addition is takes place marconic of or anti marconic of whatever the things you know the anti addition only will take place all the halogenation will take place undergoes anti addition here also see here here also the halogenation reaction here x2 is there okay here hydrogen and the bromine here hx hx is there okay this is the difference between there this undergoes marconic of this undergoes anti marconic of but all the additions will be anti additions and here see here this is also marconic of additions see here this is also anti addition is taking place h is on this in this side and oh is in this side this hydrogen where the hydrogen is more there hydrogen is attaching that is marconic of he not in this way not here here it is here the hydrogen is not attaching over here here only hydrogen is attaching that's why we are saying this is a marconic of addition okay see some more reactions here anti addition is takes place with the halogen okay here the halogen um, that is halohydrin reaction halogen as well as the oh groups are add, add, adding over in the anti form it undergoes a marconic of a rule only okay the next one is carbon formation how the carbon is forming in the diiodomethane the presence of diiodomethane with zinc or zinc copper this is undergoes a syn addition both will undergo the syn addition here the cold dilute KMnO4 or osmium tetroxide this osmium tetroxide undergoes a syn addition okay osmium tetroxide means undergoes a syn addition only both OH will add on the same side the same way here in these two reactions, these are all these two are oxidation reactions. See the KMnO4 or and the ozonolysis reaction, it takes place, the cleavage will take place in this uh, double bond. Okay. Here the oxidative cleavage will take place. See here, this double bond O, double bond O will form in this way. Okay, these two reactions are see here the Y in the ozonolysis condition and the KMnO4 in the presence of heat and the base. What will happen? Oxidative a cleavage will take place. This bond will get cleave. And now we are going to see in the alkyne group okay in the alkyne group what is the sin and the anti addition these first three reactions are hydrogenation reactions but the condition is different first one is diboro nickel nickel in the presence of hydrogenation okay this will take place in a uh, sin addition but in the liquid ammonia you will get in the anti addition even in the lindos reagent is also there okay lindos reagent bridge reduction this is also there there is a these these two are opposite reactions one will give you the sin another one will give the trans addition okay here h2 and the platinum this is giving a uh, both uh, double bonds will get satisfied with the hydrogenation hydrogenation reaction and then if a halogenation reaction will take place we know that it will undergo a anti addition but the thing is if you add a one molar you will get a one uh, that is two halogenation will added one double bond will remain as it is if you add excess and then there is no double bond will not be there okay in the same way even if it is um, like x2 or if it is a hx whatever it may be you will get this uh, one molar equivalent means uh, only one will get added and uh, if it is excess then both the double bonds will not be there okay and in the ozonolysis of a triple bond, what will take place? It is a ozonolysis or K mono four. What way? What whatever may be the condition here? Also, the cleavage takes place in the earlier case. Also, the K mono four and the ozonolysis. What is the, what is happening? A cleavage takes place here. Also, the cleavage takes place. Two type two different products we are getting. Okay, according to the substance, the two different products we will get. See here, though the acids are getting the two different way according to the substance. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell button so that you will get all the upcoming tricks and ideas which is useful for your exams. Thanks for watching.